Hi, I'm Kristen Johnson, and you probably already know that because you're on our page or our YouTube page or our Insta, and you're checking us out. But I'm super grateful that you're taking a minute out of your day to um, watch this video. But today I want to talk about gratitude. You know, sometimes us as entrepreneurs or just people or whatever we're doing in our careers, we can seemingly put things like gratitude um, to the side because it's not very complicated. It's more of like a feeling, um, you know, it doesn't have a step-by-step -step approach. Um, it doesn't necessarily, you know, put money in the bank, so to speak, and you don't necessarily see a dollar sign return on investment, sort of. But when we really dive into gratitude, and I think all of us have been in these places where things are going great, we're so excited, we're happy, um, the energy keeps flowing. And you know, when you're in a state of gratitude, a lot of things can benefit from you. You know, you're more optimistic, you're less, you know, you, let, you care less about materialistic things, you know, maybe you're in a better place um, with your spouse or your friends, you feel like your self-esteem is on fire, um, you know, it's less about you and more about your, you know, your co-workers, your employees, your family, your children, um, your spouse, um, you name it, it just, you know, you start thinking about others in a different way. Your health can totally improve with, you know, better sleep, you know, maybe you're not so worried about always going to the doctor for every little thing. Um, you know, you definitely have more energy. Um, you're more likely, you know, be appreciative of your body and exercise. You know, emotionally, you're just, you're feeling better. You know, whenever people are in a place where they're feeling grateful, hi boo boo, um, my daughter's under here. <laughs> um, you know, they just feel better. Things seem to be simpler. Things seem to be easier. And, you know, everyone has ups and downs in their life and ebbs and flows, whether it's their career or their relationships. Um, you know, you never really know what's going on in someone's life. But even if you can take some time each day, whether you want to journal it, that's what I suggest you do. And the most powerful way is to write things down. You know, every morning, just take a minute or evening or whatever works for you. Um, thanks, Win. Um, you know, take a few seconds and even if it's as simple as, you know, you're grateful for the, you know, the bed sheets that are soft and not wrinkly, you know, if that's where you are in your life right now, that's okay, that happens. But what you'll find is you'll start making this shift. And I know every time, you know, maybe things aren't going exactly as I had planned in our life. Um, when I start, you know, reevaluating and checking myself and reminding myself on how grateful I am, you know, just to live in a first world country um, after being back um, for a couple days, we were in a second world country for an entire month. And, you know, you get a totally different perspective when you're driving down the road and, you know, little children don't have shoes. Uh, many places don't have running water. Um, you know, the roads aren't paved. There's potholes everywhere. Electricity, it's very common for it to go in and out. You know, people can be, you know, really unhealthy because they don't have a lot of access to healthy things and it's really easy to eat, you know, unhealthy food. And, you know, their homes, maybe they don't even have windows. They sleep in hammocks, you know, all sort, sort of things that most of us, you know, we just forget about. We go on vacations, we go to resorts, um, you know, we're weighted on hand and foot, you know, we throw out food and, you know, if it just has a bruise on it, you name it. But, you know, when you really take time to evaluate, it can be something seemingly insignificant to us, but you know, I'm grateful that my daughter has access to any kind of clothes she wants to wear. You know, her wardrobe is definitely more extensive than ours. Or, you know, we are so grateful. We had a birthday party this weekend. We got to feed our friends, about 30 of them. You know, we have the we had the ability to do that and we're grateful, you know, we had the income to have them over and do that and they could celebrate uh, Wynn's first birthday and she got absolutely spoiled. And you know, in many places around the world, that's not even a thing. Maybe the baby will not even get a gift and not that gifts are the be all of end all, but you know, that's how we celebrate here in North America. So I really just want to encourage you, you know, take a, take a hot minute for yourself. Um, you know, decide what you're grateful for today um, and tomorrow and the next day. And maybe just start with one thing, start with two things, three things. It can definitely help with, you know, 
if you're feeling maybe a little bit depressed or you know in a bad place or things aren't working out career wise or you're launching a business and not everything's going just take a minute to look at what's going on if you do have a partner or children that are old enough to have the conversation you know i suggest having the conversation around the dinner table what are you grateful for today and you know starting our children young uh looking at the positive um i don't really know what could be negative about that so you guys i'm very grateful that you took time to check out this video also if you'd like to connect with ryan and i more we are launching a brand new power couples book club as well as we are launching a goal setting um you know sheet for you guys and video so you guys can you know take those and take your goals and your dreams and your gratitude to the next level so check out the links there hit us up on facebook if you have any questions and those things are free for you guys cheers